This is Game of Inches. Six teams of anglers across the ice belt compete for five days for a grand prize of $6,000. Eligible species are narrowed down to seven categories of freshwater fish. The total combined length of the seven fish is their final score. Each team records their longest fish in each category. Who will take home the $6,000 at the end of day five? I'm so nervous. Game of inches, baby. Good morning. Welcome to day four. I can't believe how fast this has gone. This is day four, game of inches. This is a competition with seven categories. You take your longest fish of each of the seven categories. The person with the most inches is the winner. Um, we're kind of middle of the pack right now. We've got six out of seven categories filled. We need to catch a lake trout. Yesterday was a very tough day. Um, we had some mechanical issues that pulled us out for most of the day. We got a fish kind of four hours at sunset. But um, anyways, we're coming back today. We got a sled to borrow and uh, we're at Winoga Lodge looking for a lake trout. Here we go. Oh, and I got my partner, Josh. I don't know where he is, but he's fishing with us. Good vibes. Need to catch a lake trout. It's been, it's been tough. Just need to make it happen. Well, I say we do fish without a shack if we can. Do we stick it out here or do we go back to where we had all that action last night? Or two nights ago? I think the action is a, uh, yeah, deceiving thing because it could have just been firing. It, I just know morning bites key. Right now I'm just wasting time, but yeah, maybe we should start the day there. I mean, we saw a lake trout there for sure and there was fish floating around. We just had nothing yesterday evening, but it, it could have been the weather. Yeah. So I'd say I'm just gonna start dropping. I may as well drop a couple baits. We're gonna lay some meat out on the bottom with tip ups. We're kind of just gonna spread out. We could catch burbot here, walleye, lake trout, pike, but the, the focus is, is lake trout. Anything else would kind of be a bonus. This is like deja vu. Morning after morning, trying to catch the elusive lake trout. Look at that sweet little bait. That's candy right there. Candy, I tell you. Am I scared or worried? Oh uh, yeah, absolutely. We got some stiff competition. They're, uh, they've made some big moves the last couple days. So we, if we don't catch a lake trout, we can't win. Straight up, you need to catch a lake trout. And the thing is we're fishing a lake that has less fish, but a better average size. Any activity, Josh? Ah, a couple small ones. On one. I'm on something. Nice. Is it decent? I can't tell. I think it's a burbot. Need a hand? Oh, it should be okay. We got a fish, came in off bottom. He's trying to... Maybe a laker? Trying to swim away. Maybe a laker. It was being a little picky. That's like, acting like a burbot. Yeah. I was just going, ooh, 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 ooh. I gave him some opportunity. Flag, flag, flag. Oh my. Get the flag. We're in Bourbon Alley here. It's at the bottom of the hole. It's it's a stinky little bit. Let's just get him up. There he is. What was it? A burbot. Small. You got some? Yeah, I got a burbot too. Oh man. We're in Bourbon Alley here. The burbs are on. They must be coming to spawn. It's that time of year. Yeah, that's okay. We can upgrade a burbot. That was that was a quick little flurry there. Yeah. Just like that. We're on the board. More fish than we caught yesterday in 10 minutes. Yeah, so that's what that anything will eat that right there. Mm. All we need is that one bite. One perfect bite. Nothing makes you want to jump down that hole like the tapping on the back of your hood when there's kind of hard snowy pellet things falling on you. It's that constant tapping is real nice. <laughs> Makes you want to do and say really nice things to people. Puts you in that zone, the zone of negativity. We got the LVS 34 Live Scope Plus. It's pretty deadly. Just got it a couple weeks ago, contesting it out. Does it make you catch more fish? No, no, sometimes not. Sometimes yes though. Still got to get in the right area, as you can see. 
Man, it is just, I did not think it was gonna be this tough to get a lake trout. We can't really switch lakes until my sled's fixed, so we're kind of stuck here anyways. And this is a good place to be stuck. It's a decent sized fish, whatever it is. Come on, eat out of the mud. We got him. I think it's a burbot. Man, we played that fish for a while. Could be a walleye. Nope, just a dirty burb. Just a dirty old daytime burb. Cute little guy. There you go, we can still catch him. We're trying, we're trying to get that lake trail category filled and it's, uh, it's not an easy one. There are lakes we could go to and get a bunch of small ones and I just, I knew that wasn't gonna be a, a winning strategy. Right now I would take any lake trout, but I'm using big old Dragon Slayer on the new head spinner jig. I'll show you guys what we're dealing with. I got the Mr. Big Rod, 20 pound fluoro. There's what's gonna do some damage yet on a lake trout. Did some damage on a burbot. It's it's crazy because we were like so far ahead on species and now Lakers just, I, I mean, know. it feels like forever. It's only been a couple days. I know. We've been but... trying for them. That's the nature of it. Yeah, exactly. Drinking my morning coffee. To all you guys watching at home in your warm houses, cheers. Thanks for following along. Sorry, I'm kind of struggling right now. Nice. Whitey. The Cisco Disco with Josh McFadden. What do we got here, boys? I'm saying 18 inch Cisco. Oh, 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 oh. Handfish, right? Whoa. A Wally. Dark Wally. No way. Look at all the growths on him. Jeez, that thing moved so quick. Yeah, just the blackest of the black. Look at that. Big, oh, black walleye. Big, black, black, black. Yeah. yeah. Nice! There it is, I mean, it's a fish. And that fish was crazy active. That's good. It's not fish often you get on. a walleye swimming that fast up. It's it's tough to say, because we can stick it out here. The thing is, I, I, I don't know, like I almost have as much confidence on Lake of the Woods to get a, ah, it's just so easy to get skunked on Lake of the Woods too. I know. It's just, sometimes it's easier to get skunked on home water, just confidence wise, because yeah, your fishing you know, memories. You know you went to the spots. Yeah. Even if we catch a lake trout, we're staying here all day today. If, if all of a sudden we caught a big lake trout, we might do a Hail Mary. Right. Because then we'd just go all in on walleye if we get a laker and not try to upgrade anything else because why? Well, just because we'd run out of time, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay. All right, well, let's try to catch a laker. Yeah, let's just catch one. Dearest love, I send blessings from the North Country. The air is cold and frigid on my lungs. But I long for your gaze. <laughs> uh, where'd my glove go? Busy messing around, being all funny. Come on, you jerk fish. Oh, we got two here. Come on. Flag, and I got a fish chasing me. Oh, it's tearing line. Oh, this is bigger. Yeah, it's bigger. I have no tools and no bump board. It's either a pike or a laker. It's got some weight. It's swimming towards me now. I don't think it's a burbot. It's coming in way too easy. Now it does not feel big. It might be a medium sized pike. Ooh, there's a bubble though. There was a bubble. It might be a laker, dude. Ooh. Yeah, really good runs, but it doesn't feel super heavy, but oh, buddy. How good is a laker gonna feel if it's a laker? It's a laker or a pike? Please be a lake trout. Ah! Oh! Shoot, that's a big pike though. It's okay, inches are inches, man. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was a laker. It's okay. We got inches. Wow, it's a good pike upgrade here. I'm gonna give him a little dunk. Look how fat that pike is. That pike was right on top of the reef, 28 feet of water. Okay, let's do our best here. 35, this is our biggest pike. 37 and three quarters. Oh, that thing is so fat. You got her? She's going back down. Oh, ho, 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 yes, 37 three quarters. We gained some inches today. Yeah, I thought that was gonna be a laker with those runs. Two and three quarter inches. Hey, better than yesterday. 
And that's a nice fish. That was a great fish. We got a big fish on the ice. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. In the blizzard. Yeah, I've had lots of action too, so I'm just gonna go back. Like there's been yeah. lots of stuff chasing, so. Yeah. yeah, let's just, let's hunker down here. Maybe we'll set up the shack at some point. Okay. Well, at this point, it's like, we're probably not gonna tip up fish for pike. We'd probably yeah. try to upgrade our walleye, if anything. Man, I just picture like somebody for sure has a giant pike. Oh yeah. And it's gonna be gross. It's probably Clay. I think Aaron, Aaron and Clayton. Yeah. They're in, they're in the right. Yeah, I think Aaron's got a big bike too. Oh, is that a fish on me? Oh boy, oh boy, that's a big fish. You marking one? Yeah, it's good. You on? Yeah, it looked big, but it doesn't feel big now. It's got the weirdest head shakes going on. Yeah, it's a walleye. Gasper goo? Little Gasper. Healthy little fish. He's angry, so we're gonna put him back. Okay, sifting through the little guys. We're going for a full send into the abyss, into the white snow. It's been snowing for like 36 hours, but we're moving. We need a lake trout. We really, we will not win without a lake trout. Upgraded the pike, that was nice. Nothing wrong with that. That nice pike chunky, was beautiful. Nice chunky pike, but uh, yeah, we're gonna go for about a five, six mile sled ride and then probably just hunker down there the rest of the day. And if we get a lake trout today, then we'll have to figure out the snowmobile situation. For, we gotta figure out the snowmobile situation anyway tomorrow, but uh, who knows, maybe, maybe the sled will start once it's been drying off for a little while. Very thankful for fine folks at Winoga for letting us use one of theirs. All right, this is the TSN turning point, they call it. This is when the underdogs come back. And we've really only been underdogs for one day. 40, 41 feet of water. It's a good depth for a lake trout. What is this on the bottom? Is that something bigger? Ooh, that might be a laker. There are two whiteies. This is unbelievable. Ah, it looked like something bigger under the ice. Oh man, is that one big fish? If that's one big fish, that's a laker. Yeah, yeah. Yep, Laker! I got one too! Oh, he was right under the ice. Josh! You're on? I'm coming! That fish was right under the ice. We were right here. We were so close. See that big mouth come up into the slush? Oh, it's a big pike, you're kidding me. All right, Josh is coming over the bump board. This is not... The lake trout. I could have sworn this was gonna be a lake trout. It was right, it was like two feet under the ice, just screaming at my bait. Ate the dragon slayer. I don't think this will be an upgrade. Guess we'll see, he got a mouthful of slush on the way up. So 37, yeah, that's yeah, not gonna be an upgrade. upgrade. That's fine. Nice fish. Yeah, nice fish. All right, thanks buddy. Man, dude, the white fish here were madness. Absolute madness, like probably 15 or 20 and just like hitting at this bait and slinging no back way. and forth and back and forth like, ah. Oh. Yeah. I'm excited. So there's fish around, it's gonna happen. There's another fish cruising in. I thought 100% that was gonna be a laker. Oh, freaking pike. Like he was 100 miles an hour right under the ice. Okay, line's still good. Seen any fish, Josh? Some mighties. Got a white fish. Now you're good. That's what we're seeing all over the graph. <laughs> that was pretty wild. Every time Jay hooks a pike, he thinks it's a laker. Because he's fishing for lakers. Every time I catch a pike, I say it's a pike, and Jay says, nope, it's a laker. The guy doesn't know what he's doing. You all think he's a fishing expert? 
think again. They do act quite similar. Come on now. Come on now. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's engaged. On oh, no. Finally! Could be a little laker, but I'm gonna assume it's a white fish. Do you need help? Nope. He's got his tail pointed downward. Ah, uh, you know what? It's just a okay whitey. He finally bit. Man, if you're gonna eat a white fish, that's the fish. Look at what I did! Yeah, these are just like amazing fish. We're just gonna take, oh, take this hook out. Finally got that guy to bite. See you later, buddy. There he goes. Gonzo. Okay, cool. Got a white fish. It just felt good to catch something, I'll be honest. Had to feel something, you know? I have some emotions go through my body. Oh. Is it a lake or a whitefish? Got him. It's gotta be a big whitey. Big head shakes. Might be a huge whitey. Oh, it's a lake trout. It's a lake trout. Wee-hee! Got a lake trout. We got a little lake trout. It's not what we came here for, but it's the right flavor. Oh man. What do we got? That's Same. A 22 and a half inches right there. Yeah, 22 and a half. Going back, we're gonna probably upgrade this fish by 10 inches, but that's all right. Seven of seven achieved. Yes! Yee! All right, well, it feels good to have a laker on the board. Yeah. It's the same size as our stocky, which is... Has our splake? Maybe it was a splake. Yeah. Yeah, this fish was just chasing me and then just like barely nibbled that. And I was like, oh, it's another white fish. Well, that's good. Yeah, I mean, we're in a more fishy spot than we've been. Oh, dude, this is the fishiest spot of the trip. Yeah. We're seeing so much stuff here. Yeah. So much activity. It's the middle of the day, right? So it's like, it's one o'clock. We have another seven hours, seven and a half oh, don't hours. Don't say it. Things are, things are good. Hey, might not have been the lake trail we wanted. I thought it was a white fish, but it's another category. So we added, yeah, 27 inches today, 28 inches. I'm just using the Dragon Slayer, kind of working the whole water column. I've seen the fish all over, really. I'm worried about those Conrad brothers. They're posting pictures in the group chat of them out for food, stopping for coffee. They're on the leisure tour apparently because they caught all their big fish. I'm worried about those guys. We haven't even targeted walleyes yet. They've just been bonuses. We were kind of saving that for the end. I don't think we'd struggle this much to get a, a medium sized lake trout. Josh! Joshua! Mr. McFadden! Josh! ESPN. I think we should set up the shack on this hole. There's just been the most stuff going on. I'm gonna pull the snowmobile around here. Welcome back to Goy Day 4. Wow, it is like, there was just insane action here. I well, it's just dead. I think we'll have to come here first thing in the morning tomorrow if we don't get a nice one. We could even Hail Mary, like if we got if we got a laker tomorrow morning, we could still hail marry it. So we still have, a, yeah, there's still great potential. I don't feel like we've talked about, this morning we fished a, uh, a reef in a narrowing part of the lake uh, and had everything on it. The spot seems to be heavy on whitefish. Big extended point. I actually don't know. It, it, on the Navionics, it looks like it's 100 and some feet behind us. We're on a nice little flat around 35 feet. Hmm. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that one fish? Mm hmm That is definitely, oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Very nice. I don't think it's a laker. Nope. That's a decent sized fish, but. Hi. No way. Oh man. That fish like that. There you go. Nice northern pike. Oh, boy, just dart off like a rocket. Just ship. didn't have the depth, you know? It had the length, but not the depth. Yep. That fish just wanted to kill. And I was in an ambulance. And How they, oh, would there's that... a lake trout. How freaky would that be to see? Oh, here we go. That looks like a pike. Oh, he's coming to kill you. Nice. Yeah, it does look like a pike. Well, Is she. I might catch one too. It's kind of going crazy. It's going like a wally, but I don't think it is. 
It is a Laker. Come on. Oh no, it's a walleye. Oh, that might be an upgrade. Oh my gosh. That's a walleye upgrade. That's a beautiful walleye. Here, I'm gonna. It's a nice wally. Nice fish. 22. Yeah, 22. Go, go, see a little more straight. Yeah, okay, 22. There we go. Nice big hole. They're all very angry fish out oh, of this yeah. water. They don't like coming up. That was a pot of walleyes that cruised in cool. there. That was nice. Yeah, I like it. Man, mouthful of slush and all. Take your time, buddy. What, what did I say, 22? Yeah, 22. Add it an inch. That's all right. Man, that was a feisty walleye, huh? Oh, still got my trusty old rotten belly on there. I like the aggression of the fish and that they're still, they're moving. I mean, so a fish like that, we are laker fishing. Obviously there's a chance to catch, you know, you could catch a walleye. If a fish is exploded, his eyeballs are exploded, stomach's exploded, he's not gonna release. A fish like that, we were quick with him. He wasn't showing any obvious bad signs. So, you know, he came up a little higher too. Like he was between 25 and 30. Yeah. Probably closer to 25, which is kind of your max range anyway. So I think that was a pretty safe catch. I mean, if his mouth was exploded, we would have kept him. Yep. Like and I didn't rip him up either. Like yeah. took, took my time. Come up for it. Maybe, 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 maybe. No. Oh yeah. You got him. Game over. Game set match. Right here. Dunk. He got him. He still got it. Flag, I just saw it go up. Oh my. It's stuck in the freaking. oh no, it got off right there. I don't even know what that was, screw it. What do you got? Little burbot. I just still think it's easier to catch a 30 inch wall, a laker here, or a 35 inch laker than a, cause a wall is gonna be eight inch upgrade. A big laker is gonna be a 14, 15 inch upgrade. Mm -hmm. You're out of time. 50 seconds. You have 30 seconds to land him. You got him. You've got 10 seconds to land him. He's Nine, not up. eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Time's up. That fish is no longer count. Oh, jeez. It's fine. It was small. <laughs> well, that is the end of day four. We got to hear check-ins from another team yet. As usual, you're probably going to see us in our bedroom at Winoga Lodge. Oh, it's backwards. Oh, it's backwards. <laughs> Wait, what? 166.5 inches. Yeah. Tomorrow. It doesn't, the scores don't really matter till tomorrow. Everything's going to change. Good luck to everybody tomorrow. And uh, let's end this thing with a bang. Pow, pow. Great job, guys. See you tomorrow. Oh, I might have ended it before you're done. Everybody's killing it. Right? Like, absolutely killing it. This is fishing that just doesn't happen, you know? Like. But I feel like we haven't had anything spectacular yet. Nope. Nope. Tomorrow. Spectacular things, big lake trout, and then Hail Mary Big Walleye. Hail Mary. And maybe a big full of Uh all right guys. Thank you for watching Game of Inches, episode four. Um we're we're not uh, our, our strategy isn't panning out right now. No, that's fine. Tomorrow? It will. Bites. Big bites tomorrow. <laughs>